Well, some good news for Georgia drivers. Governor Kemp has extended the suspension of the gas tax. Fox Wise Denise Dillon says it will bring relief to those high prices. We're talking 29 cents a gallon. None of us have had to pay that since mid-March, and it was all about to end Tuesday. But now the tax suspension will go through mid-July. I have extended the temporary suspension of the gas tax ahead of Memorial Day weekend. Governor Brian Kemp announced the gas tax suspension that's been in effect for more than two months will now be extended. He's hoping this will bring some relief to drivers like Kevin Butler. A tank of gas and a Tiguan, what, $70? In March, when gas prices were surging, Fox 5 was the only Atlanta television station in Darien, Georgia, as Governor Kemp signed legislation temporarily suspending the state gas tax, saving everyone about 29 cents a gallon. Look, I signed it as quick as the bill got to me to give Georgians relief at the pump as quickly as we could. That was a temporary measure that was to expire at the end of this month. Now it has been extended another six weeks through July 14th, getting us through two of the big travel holidays. Memorial Day weekend and the 4th of July. For many, saving 29 cents a gallon is something to celebrate in the midst of these high prices. The savings, if you have a 15-gallon tank, that's $4.35 every time you fill up. It'll save us a couple dollars. I think that's pretty good. I'm happy for that. Save me some money. While drivers are saving at the pump, the state is missing out on about $160 million a month in taxes, money that is supposed to go toward transportation projects. The governor's office says the loss will be covered by the rainy day fund. As Luis Diaz fills up, he says he's pleased something is being done to help. Anything that's going to help us out, because I know a lot of people be struggling with these gas prices. And what about that more costly summer blend? How will that play into all of this? I'll have that part of the story for you on Fox 5 News Edge at 11. Denise Stillen, Fox 5 News.